first period, Steven Elliott's going to hit the goal post here, but there is Justin Brand to clean up on the rebound. It's one to nothing for the Fury after that goal. Just after a penalty expired, Mason Snell has a shot blocked by Spencer Roberts, who then chips the puck past Snell. Gotta wonder why Austin Kane didn't come out to play this one. The end result, a tying goal for the Coburg Cougars. Cougars pressing again. This looks to be a sure goal for Brendan Locke, but Shane Bull gets the stick on the pass to keep it tied for now. Early second period, painful shot blocked by Elliott goes for naught when Matt Latin can't control the puck. Moments later, it's in the Whitby net. Ryan Castleman from the doorstep, giving the Cougars the lead. The back and forth battle continues. Great individual effort here from Brock Welch. That is a roof job. That is a nice looking goal. We are tied up at two apiece. Midway point of the game, Cougars on the power play. Locke feeds Jesse Baird. He's going to snap a shot past Kane. Visitors on top again. This one is a 3-2. The Fury fight back. Ryan Taylor skates out from the corner. Puts a shot on goal. There's Luke Keenan to deal with the rebound. Give him 10 on the season. And this game is tied up once again. It is 3-3. Spencer Roberts scored unassisted in the first. Does it again here in the second. Tucking the puck behind Kane. And that's the last time the Fury will be on level terms in this game. Whippy not doing themselves any favors in this one as another turnover deep in their own end results in another Cougars goal. Riley McCray getting the job done there. They would go on to score another and add an empty netter and take it by a score of 6-3. to three.